translation of today's khutbah in English. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdihi wa rasoolihi al-Nabi al-Umi. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam. O servants of Allah, there is no doubt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made parents impulse and love towards their children instinctive. Parents sacrifice everything, even themselves for them, nurturing their children like a green plant absorbing all the goodness in the soil. They do this with joy, even through their old age. Today, many children have forgotten the benevolence and compassion they received from their parents. They have become ungrateful, disobedient and rebellious. They abuse their parents and show them no pity mercy or, or compassion. This level of disobedience reaches its limits when the child hits his parents after he told them the word that Allah warned of in the Quran and Allah says, do not say to them so much as uff. Allah has warned us of this word uff and anything similar to it that we say to our mothers and fathers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to be humble in their presence and orders us to make dua for them. How far are we from that today? O servants of Allah, you should know that the results of disobedience towards our parents are severe in this world and in the hereafter. This is the greatest sin after polytheism or shirk. Imam Bukhari narrated of Abu Bakr that Rasulullah sallallahu said, Shall I inform you of the biggest of the great sins? We said, yes, O Rasulullah. He said, to join hands in worship with Allah, to be undutiful to one's parents. The Prophet وسلم, sat up after he had been reclining and added, and I warn you against giving forged statements and a false witness. I warn you against giving a forged statement and a false witness. The Prophet ﷺ kept on saying that warning until we thought that he would not stop. Abdullah ibn al-As narrated that the Prophet ﷺ said, For a man to curse his parents is one of the major sins. It was asked, Does a man curse his parents? He replied, Yes, he curses the father of a man who in return curses his father, and he curses a man's mother who in return curses his. Do not be disobedient, do not be a reason for cursing your parents. O servant of Allah, the one who disobeys their parents shall be deprived of entering paradise and expelled from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which encompasses all things. Imam Ahmad narrated of Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anh, who said that the Prophet sallallahu said, three persons will not be looked upon by Allah on judgment day. The one who disobeys his parents, the, one, the woman who imitates men, and a man who allows his women to fornicate. Three persons will not enter paradise. The one who disobeys his parents, the drunkard, and the one who reminds others of his charity that he gave. Al-Hakim narrated in the history of the Prophet وسلم, who said, if Allah knows that there is a word simpler than uff, he would have forbade it. Whatever the disobedient does, he shall not enter paradise, and whatever the obedient does, he shall not enter hell. O servant of Allah, Allah will not accept the fard or sunnah or righteous actions of those who are disobedient to their parents. Ibn Abi Asim narrated in the book of Al Sunnah of Abi Amama, who said, the Prophet وسلم, said, Three that will not accept from them either repentance nor a ransom, an ingrate person that gives and reminds of what he gave and the denier of qadr or destiny. O servants of Allah, disobedience is a debt that has to be paid back in this world before the hereafter, as what you do to others shall be done to you. Those that extend righteousness to their parents, Allah shall reward them, and those that disobey their parents, Allah shall punish them. The disobedient will reap the fruits of their bad actions in this world before the hereafter. 
Al Hakim narrated of Anas radiallahu anhu who said, the Messenger Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said two things that have immediate punishments, prostitution and disobedience. O servant of Allah, after finishing Jum'ah prayer, will we rush to our fathers and mothers to kiss their feet and hands and ask them to pray for us and to forgive us for our disobedience towards them? Just as the Prophet Yusuf salam, sorry, the brothers of the Prophet Yusuf salam, said to their father, O oh, our father, ask for us forgiveness for our sins. Indeed, we have been sinners. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not exclude us from his mercy because of our disobedience towards our fathers and mothers. Said Al-Bayhaqi that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Jibreel spoke to me and said, is excluded from heaven the man that his parents or one of them reaches old age in his presence and they were not a cause for his entrance to paradise. I said, Amen. If you have parents who have passed away, increase your dua for them and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Give more charity and strive to improve your family ties. Today's announcement, uh, today's collection is for the children in Syria. They're in a desperate plight. Lots of them are orphans, have no family, have no food, have nothing. So please give generously. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.